Welcome to Hollyfield Physics TV. Um, today we're going to look at distances in space and this is for the A2 cosmology unit. First thing we're going to define uh, is the astronomical unit, the AU. As the Earth orbits around the Sun, it traces out an elliptical path, not a circular one. So the radius of the Earth's orbit is really an average and this is the definition of the astronomical unit, the radius of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. And it's got a value of 1.49 times 10 to the 11 meters. Measuring distances to stars is a bit tricky. Uh, we use a form of triangulation which is called parallax. We'll look at a very distant star and compare its position with the star that we're measuring to. Using our telescopes, we'll measure the angle between the two stars. The Earth continues on its orbit and six months later is on the opposite side of the Sun. But as you'll see, the orange star, the fixed star, appears to be in exactly the same position as it was six months earlier. But the position of the star that we're measuring to has changed. And we've got the diameter of the Earth's orbit there is 2 AU. We measure these two angles and from those we can find the parallax angle, alpha. We're talking about angles that are ridiculously small. One degree is 60 minutes of arc. One minute, 60 seconds of arc. So one second of arc is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree. Here's where the definition comes in. The words parallax and seconds are joined together to form our new unit, the parsec. One parsec is the distance if the parallax angle is one second of arc when the baseline is one AU. Another way of looking at this is take the diameter of the Earth's orbit, two AU, and we have two seconds of arc as our parallax angle. The distance is again one parsec. The light year, we know that light is electromagnetic radiation. And so in one year, it travels its speed times the time and that gives us 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. We can look at some idea of scale now. Radius of the Earth, 6 million meters. Distance from the Earth to the Moon, 3 times 10 to the 8, sorry, times 10 to the 9 meters. From the Earth to the Sun, we've already defined that as one astronomical unit, and that's 1.49 times 10 to the 11 meters. Diameter of our solar system, 79 astronomical units, 79 times the distance from Earth to Sun. Getting to our nearest star though, Proxima Centauri, take us a lot longer. It's around about 4.2 light years away, 1.3 parsecs approximately. But the scale of the Milky Way is vast, 100,000 light years across. It takes light, 100,000 light years, 100,000 years to travel from one side to the other. Our nearest galaxy, a large Magellanic cloud, a little bit further than this, it's 168,000 light years away. Our local group of galaxies, there's the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Milky Way. Uh, the large one in the top left corner is Andromeda. Across there, 6 million light years. Absolutely nothing compared to our universe, though. As you know, the universe is around about 13 billion years old. 
therefore its size, 13 billion light years. Put some context onto this. We'll take the radius of the Earth as being one, and we'll see how many times we have to scale that up to reach the different values. To get to the universe, we have to scale it up an awful lot. These are the numbers you need to know for your exam. Write them down, say them backwards, learn them in your sleep. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Hollyfield Physics TV. I'm Richard Gould. Do well in your exams. <laughs>